Hello and welcome to Pittsburgh City Council's public hearing for Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. My name is Kim Clark Baskin and I'm your Deputy City Clerk. With us today, we have our sign language interpreter, Logan Showalter. The following is a piece of legislation to be heard by Pittsburgh City Council. Bill number 1492. Resolution approving a conditional use application under the Pittsburgh Code, Title IX, Zoning, Article 5, Chapter 911.2, Section 911.2.A.64 for West Liberty Elementary School for authorization to expand an elementary secondary school at 785 Dunster Street zoned R1DM, residential single unit detached, moderate density district, 19th Ward, 4th Council District. That concludes the reading of the legislation. Thank you and have a great day. Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Anthony Coghill. I'm the city council representative for the fourth district. And um, we're having a public hearing today regarding an addition that West Liberty School is uh, building. And uh, we'll start with, I guess, introducing ourselves and take it from there. We'll take the, um, the bill. Okay. Bill 1492, resolution approving a conditional use application under the Pittsburgh Code Title IX Zone in Article 5, Chapter 9112, Section 9102, for West Liberty Elementary School for authorization to expand an elementary secondary school at 785 Dustin Street, 19th Ward, Council District Number 4. Dunster Street, but that's okay. Dunster. <laughs> So, so Kate, if you would, uh, are, you, are you finished by mm -hmm. then? Okay. Sure. So yeah, Kate Rakis, a principal planner uh, with city planning in the zoning and development review division. Uh, yeah, this is an expansion of a um, elementary secondary school general in a residential zoning district as a conditional use application. And as such, it requires planning commission and then city council. Uh, so planning commission had their public hearing on February 26th of this year, and they made a positive recommendation to council. Uh, and as per the zoning code requirements, uh, notice was posted around the property and notice was mailed to abutting property owners 21 days in advance of the hearing today. Uh, my name is Allison Mason. I'm here with uh, Stephen Connell. I'm the architect, and he's from uh, Pittsburgh Public Schools. Uh, we're just kind of kind of walk you through the project a little bit. Okay. And talk you about Great. talk to you about what we're going to do. So, uh, West Liberty Elementary School is an existing elementary school. Um, it's next to Southbrook and Pioneer, up on a sort of a campus that's separated from the neighborhood a little bit. Um, there's not a an expansion of population necessarily in the area, but the school that they have now is not meeting their needs. It's not large enough for what they need. They have a very small cafeteria, they're having classes in the basement, and they don't have any air conditioning. So the project started with a need for um, adding air conditioning to some of the other Pittsburgh public schools. It's sort of a thing that they're trying to do um, with all their schools. And once we really um, started looking at the program for the school, we realized that that was not adequate for the students that are there. So this is going to be a really good project. Um, they don't have a secure vestibule right now. Um, the entrance is on sort of the side of the building, and it's not attached to the office. So the first thing we're going to do, you can see on one of the boards, is switch the entrance to the front of the school where the main bus drop-off is. That will be an ADA-accessible entrance. Um, it'll have a nice new uh, front to the school, and it will add a secure vestibule going into the school. Um, so that student or t parents and, and visitors to the building can get buzzed in and out and they'll have to go through the office in order to access the school. It's much safer. Um, you don't have people accessing the school and any other doors around the, the campus, which is a really nice addition. Um, in the existing building, we're going to take the, the classrooms that are existing now and do some finish upgrades. We're going to do new paint, new flooring, new ceiling, new lighting, um, adding air conditioning, adding sprinklers to the existing school. Some of the classrooms are a little bit small. Some of them are kind of larger, so we're going to be reorganizing some of the um, 
the partitions within the existing building to make all of the classes right size. And then we're gonna be adding a really nice addition on the back that will expand their cafeteria. It'll add an art room, a music room, a science room, and a STEM, STEM lab slash library, sort of a maker space. So you can see on the board some of uh, the renderings of what some of the new classrooms are gonna look like. Um, possibly some new furniture, they're still looking into doing that, but it'll really help with those elective classes because right now they're all sharing a room and they're kind of operating off of a cart and it's not great. So I think this is gonna be a good project. All the teachers are really excited. We presented to the teachers and to the public and we had some really good feedback. Um, like I said, we're not expanding the population. We're not changing any of the bus routing, not changing any of the parking. All of that will be the same as it was. The additions around the backside, you really can't even see it from the neighborhood. It shouldn't affect any of the neighbors. Um, this is a walking district. That'll still be the case. You know, we're really not changing any of that. So, the parents have to be excited too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the teachers and, and the parents are both very excited about it. So. So I have a little packet you can see on the, the first page here. You can see where the school is in the neighborhood. And then there's some pictures of the existing school. Um, it's not beautiful in the front. So this will be a nice refresher. Um, right now they have some um, dumpsters kind of right in the front of the school and they're gonna be moved around to the back. So that'll be a really nice upgrade. You can see the entrance piece with a nice canopy that'll protect the, the door. And then the um, addition on the back that'll be adjacent to the playground. I'm glad you're doing, uh, you know, repairs to the old building too, as well. It's kind of, you know, to put something brand new on something so old. So that's that's great. Um, the administration wing will also be reconfigured so that all the nurses' offices and the principal's office and the, mm -hmm. um, you know, any of the administration will all get new offices as well. So everything will be hey, freshened uh, up at least and yeah, uh, and redone. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. You wanna? Input? I don't have any. Yeah. You're getting a, um, I hope you're getting a big shiny school. office out of this. Yeah. <laughs> the current school is uh, is a small. It's one of our smaller schools. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of our um, one of our ten smallest, at least, if not one of the, the five. So, currently, like in the library, over time, the library's been reconfigured so that they now have. They took out the stacks and are now having music and art and library are all in that same space that used to, to be a library. And we're really trying to expand the, uh, the educational um, program of the school to be more appropriate. Let me ask you, are, are most of your students from the immediate area? Are they all from Brookline or they come from Yes, all this is a neighborhood school. This is yeah, right, one of the right, magnet right, schools. Yeah. Uh, this so, but, but you still bus some in? From, yes. Yeah, yeah. But not outside of Brookline? Or? Um, I think it serves like Brookline and... Um, Overbrook. And, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It goes a little bit... So you need buses because some are three, four miles. Right, it's day, not so. strictly a walking school. Great, um, great. I think we bus with it if you're over a mile right, uh, from right, the school. We'll right. send a bus. Right. Well, it's hard not to support it. I mean, it's an investment in education here and, uh, you know... The only objections that we usually get on this are some because of construction going on and this and that. But you know, being that it's in the back of the end of the building, and um, you know, uh, so I fully support it. Um, where do we go from here, Brenna? Just hear ye, hear ye, and send, send them on their way, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Right, right, right. Okay. Anything you guys want to add before we go, or? Um, just a quick note about yeah. the construction it is <clears throat> because of the school year the school will remain open mm -hmm. so we're going to start building the addition um this summer yeah okay so that's then a good question so so this over, summer it's going to start nice yeah and then over the course of the school year there will be some work on the additions that are outside of the school and then next summer most of the interior work for the other school will be yeah, that's great what do you think is it going to be a year and a half project? correct two, two summers two summers yeah, yeah yeah and it'll be phased so that there will be work going on while the kids are there but it won't be they won't overlap right. i love how it sits back you're kind of in your own little world back there you know you and pioneer so it's uh it's a great great setting great school so uh, with that um okay you want to add anything everybody's good okay with that uh, we will adjourn